when a matter has been decided by Allah and his messenger. Why is Muhammad a partner with Allah? Answer that question. Does it say Allah alone? No! Does it say when Allah is communicated to Muhammad? No! What does it say? When a matter has been decided by Allah and his prophet. Whatever the prophet says, you have yeah. to listen. Yeah. He's like God. Not like God, but He's like, like God. God. The word. They you know that Allah decides with Muhammad a matter. Why is that? Why is that? Answer that question. Why are you pushing? Why are you pushing? All those hadiths from Allah. They're from the Rasul. Yes. So that yes. means Muhammad yes. is participating yes. in the decision yes. of Allah. So the fact is the Quran is saying it's not fitting for them to have an opinion. And the whole point of Islam is that the ulama are giving out their opinions on everything. He's silent now. So, so Allah didn't to him, tell you that Muhammad did. So that is Muhammad participating. That's him. Oh, he's back. So, so you said that I'm a liar. Are you a liar? No, you said you said that I'm a liar. Can you tell me why the Quran makes Muhammad a partner with Allah? Well, you ask me, I don't really care. You're a liar, man. You know that? Kadaba. You know that? You're a liar. You're too happy to be scary. You're too happy to be scary. A dog is better than you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Worst of creatures. A dog is better than you. There you go. There you go. There you go. Tell, tell me, why is a dog better than me? Why is a dog better than me? This guy. Why is a dog better than me? You see? They're afraid. Yeah. So tell me, why does why does why is why is Muhammad a partner of Allah? Why is Muhammad a partner of Allah? Come back, come back, please, come back here, bro, 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 bro. Why is why is Muhammad a partner of Allah? Come here, stop running. You're too happy to be scary. You're such a happy guy. Come on, bro. Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer the question. Why, why is Muhammad a partner of Allah? Answer that question. Bro, why, why is Muhammad a partner of Allah? Look, what is it? You sound like. Why, you sound, look what is Listen. Listen. When a matter has been decided, when a matter has been decided by Allah and his messenger, who's making the decision? Allah and his messenger. You were, you wanted to interrupt me while you're running from debate. Because you're upset. Why does it you, say you know you're lying, isn't it? when you're a matter lying, has been decided no, no, by no, 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 Allah no, 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 and his messenger? Why is Muhammad a partner with Allah? Answer that question. No, that's what your Quran says. Are you calling your Quran a liar? Are you calling your Quran a liar? Are you calling your Quran a liar? I agree with you, the Quran is a liar. I agree with you, the Quran is a liar. Here's what it says. Where the matter has been decided by Allah and his messenger. Answer that question. Really? Really? Answer that question. Answer that question. Your Quran is saying that Allah decides with Muhammad a matter. Why is that? Why is that? Answer that question. Why are you pushing? 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 Why do you keep pushing me? Keep your hands to yourself. Why are you pushing my guy? So, here's what it says. When a matter has been decided by Allah and his messenger. Why? 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 I'm not angry. I'm not angry. You're saying that your Quran is lying. Why are you getting all red You're saying that your Quran is lying. Who's lying? Me or the Quran? Me or the Quran? Calm down, Me or the Quran? Me or the Quran? Me or the Quran? Me or the Quran? I am fasting actually. You see, you who's the liar now? Okay. I picked him up from that corner. There we go. Wasting himself away, in it. You stand up to the devil and he runs away. There you go.
And he, they run from answering simple questions. Who is he calling a liar? His Quran says this. When a matter has been decided by Allah and his messenger. The Quran is saying that Muhammad partnered in a decision. Can you answer that? Can you answer that? Here's what your Quran says. Are you listening? When a matter has been decided by Allah and his messenger, why is Muhammad participating in a decision? Yes, I agree. I wasted my breath by quoting their Quran. I totally agree. It was a wasted breath. It was a wasted breath. Right. So, I agree. I agree. Go on, go on, go on. He doesn't speak for himself. Yeah. Everything he speaks yeah. is well. Right. From Allah. Okay. So nothing comes from him. Brilliant. Now let me reply. I answer you. Okay, I'm now going to reply. Let's have a conversation. No, you give me a question. Because the Quran doesn't say that. Ah, yes. The Quran says, what the Quran says is when a matter has been decided by Allah and his messenger. So it's a partnership in deciding the matter. Are you saying your Quran is wrong? That's the testimony of Allah. There. There you go. Here you go. This one here, Kazaba. This is Arabic. We were Kenan Muminina. We were in the Kazi Allah who was a Sulu Amran. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. What do you mean? There we go. Kazi Allah who was a Sulu. God. If you say something, or all his prophet, you have to apply. It's simple, because it comes from Allah, all of it. So why is Muhammad participating in the decision? It, not decision, it from, from Allah, not from Are you him. saying Allah is lying? Not from him. No, it doesn't from say Allah. that. What does the Quran say? By Allah and okay. his messenger. When he says something... By Allah and his yes, messenger. when he says something... Yes, is that what the him. Arabic says? It comes from him. It comes from, from Allah. him. From Allah. No, this yes. is what it yes. says. Yes. When a matter has been yes. decided... Yes. Right, so a matter is being decided. A matter is being decided by Allah and his messenger. If the Prophet says, so why is Muhammad participating in the decision? Okay, if the Prophet says you have to pray five times, it doesn't say that in the Quran. I'm sending you an example. It doesn't say that in the Quran. Yeah, if, if the Prophet, so you see, uh -huh. it doesn't say in the Quran. Who there you said go. it? Yeah. The prophet, uh, we listen to him. And what does the Quran do you, say? Do we listen when to him? a matter is do decided to him? by Allah do, and his do messenger. We to him? And he do agrees we? because oh. it's not in the Quran, it's what Muhammad said. You, 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 you just come, you, you come inside the hole. Well, where step. does Muhammad say pray five times a day? Because he prayed five times a day. Where does Muhammad say that? In, in, in hadith. In the hadith. Yes. All those hadiths oh, from Allah. Hadith from Rasul. They're from the Rasul. Yes. So that yes. means Muhammad oh, yes. is participating he in the decision of Allah. He doesn't speak for himself. He doesn't speak for himself. He doesn't speak whatever for himself. He speaks, whatever he speaks is from Allah. Everything. Everything. So when everything. 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 I'm going to prove to you. This is not what he believes. Because Muhammad said that the sun sets in a puddle of mud. Was that from Allah? From Allah. Not from Allah. From Allah. So the sun sets in a puddle of mud. Everything to do. Other faith. Okay. Zero, zero. So we, we zero, haven't got an answer. Zero, zero. We got it. We haven't got an answer. Nah, you're giving me something. You're saying he doesn't speak you for jump, himself. You jump from one. So thing. every no, word. No, so to be no, clear. No, 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 so every finish. word of Muhammad is Allah's word. Is that what you're trying yeah, to argue? Let me finish. Every Stick word. So every word of the hadith. Every single word spoken should be treated as whatever, revelation. Whatever the says, so why aren't they in the Quran? To him. Whatever the Prophet says, we yep. have to listen. Yep. He's like God.
Not like God, but what He's is like God. Like the word. There you go. The yeah. There you go. Yeah, the and word. Why? He's the word. Said. Why? The word. Because yeah. when a matter has been decided by Allah and God. His messenger, yeah. so yeah. He's like God. 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 You said it, not me. You speak. You when said it, not me. He no, tell us no, to no, pray. No. To, to, he know. tell us to pray five times a day. So. Allah doesn't tell, told us that to pray five. Allah didn't tell you. Yeah. But Muhammad did. Through him. So, so Allah didn't him, tell you, but, he, he, but he, Muhammad did. So God that is did. Muhammad participating. Why does Allah have a partner? That's shirk. Your own Quran testifies to shirk. You have testified to shirk. You said Muhammad is like God. You said Allah didn't say tell us to pray five times a day. Muhammad did. Through the Prophet. He told the Prophet some, some stuff. This is basic Islam. This is, this is true Islam, not basic. Right. Basic Islam, pray true. five times a day. Yeah. Where is that command in the Quran? In, in Prophet. What? In the Prophet. Yeah. Yeah. So the Quran yeah. is not lying it's complete. when it says, complete. Complete. When a map by the Allah Sunnah. and His Messenger. The Sunnah complete the Quran, complete. They go together like this. Where does the together. Quran yeah. tell you to use hadiths? You have to obey Allah and obey the Rasul. That, but the That's Rasul is dead. No, he was alive. No, he was alive. The hadiths are not the Rasul. Yeah, but it's written, he told this. No. Who said this? No, the hadiths no. are a book. They're not the Prophet. But who said the hadith? The Prophet. No. Who? The, the people who made the hadiths up are the ones that told you the hadiths. How many? Even your hadith chain say that someone said to someone who said to yes, someone yes, who said to because someone. It's true, because it's true. And how do you know it's true? How do you know it's because true? Because you know, I know Muhammad to D to me, to him, to him, so we we have we have chain. No we have the proof. That's just that's a list of, names. No list of names. That doesn't prove anything. For you. For that doesn't you. prove For anything. You. Hey, change. Stop that change. Change. What else? No, we're still on this. What else? What else? We're still on this. Topic. Change. Topic. We're still on this. Topic. 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 Because something else. It says. It says. You're going through this. It says. And you have agreed. Allah and His Prophet make the decisions. Something else. You said so. Something else. You testified that Allah was like. Like God, so that Muhammad was like God. We We've got you on camera. We'll yeah. do a flashback. Yes, yeah, we'll do a flashback. Whatever the prophet says, we yep. have to listen. Yep. He's like God, not like God, but he's like God. like God. The word. There you go. Yeah. Right, right. Everyone will see. Yeah. And Allah and the prophet. We follow Allah. So where's the hadith in that statement? Where's the hadith in that statement? You have to obey Allah and obey the prophet. You have to obey him. That's not saying hadiths. Where's hadiths? We obey him is his hadith. The, ha commandment. the hadiths are not have. a person. The hadiths are a book. You're commanded to obey Allah and the Rasul. Okay, you see this? The Rasul okay, is a person. I'm gonna tell you. The hadiths okay, let me, are a book. Let me tell you. The camera now is the videotaping you now, yeah? Yes. It's the same. People that are videotaping the Prophet and writing his, his word. Same. Okay. And, and bring the camera, video That's camera. a lie. That's a lie now. I'll tell you why it's why, a lie. Why? 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 Because the why? first written hadiths appear a hundred years after it's the Prophet. True. It's not true. Not at the time yeah. of the Prophet. Liar. You're a liar. So which, you which, are a liar. which hadith book, you are a liar. Which hadith book was written at the time of the Prophet? Away. Which one? You are a liar. Which hadith, you are a liar. Which hadith book was written at the Change time the of the Prophet? Or stop lying. No, no, no. Change the topic. Or You're stop saying lying. I'm lying. Change the so topic. So prove it. Or stop lying. Prove it. There is nothing. Which hadith all, all book all was talking. written at the time of the Prophet? Rubbish. Which he's one? Took, he's talking rubbish. Which one? You see, he doesn't have one. And I'll tell you why he doesn't have one. Because there was never any book written at the time of the Prophet apart from what became the Sahaba. Quran. Sahaba, yeah. even, it was the Hadith were written down, he was, he was down over a hundred years later. And the big collections of the Hadith, the big collect, no, the first ever written Hadiths 
were written a hundred years after the prophet. They were traced back to one person and there was less than a hundred hadiths in that compilation, if memory serves me correct. Your memory Fast forward is, another hundred years. Yeah, okay. And then you get 5,000 hadiths going back to that same person. Now, I don't remember the names. I will have to go and get them. But what he didn't show, what he did not show, was any command in this book to follow hadiths. He quoted a phrase that said, Obey Allah and the Prophet, which concurs with that when a decision is made by Allah, and the messenger, you obey it. But that means that Muhammad is a partner with Allah in making decisions, and that is shirk. And that is the testimony of your Quran. That's what Allah says. Who should I believe, Allah or you? There you go. This is what Allah says. That's the problem. It is not fitting nothing. for a believer, man or woman, when a matter has been decided by Allah. Now, does it say just Allah? No. Does it say Allah alone? No. Does it say when Allah is communicated to Muhammad? No. What does it say? When a matter has been decided by Allah and his prophet <laughs> and his messenger. Yeah, right. So the messenger is participating in the decision making. And this is what the Quran goes on to say. It's not fitting for Muslims to have any opinion about their decision. That's weird. The whole point of fiqh and fatwa is that you do give your opinions about these kinds of decisions. That's the whole point of Islam, is that Allah gives you the Quran, hundreds of years later Muslims made up some hadiths, and then the scholars give their opinion about what you do on it. So the fact is the Quran is saying it's not fitting for them to have an opinion. And the whole point of Islam is that the ulama are giving out their opinions on everything. He's silent now. Come on, what's your, what's your reply? Quran is valid for all time and all places. Is it? Yes. Great. What does it say about... Go on. <laughs> so the, the ulama, they have a right to interpret the Quran. You know, now, it's different than, than a thousand years ago. Yeah. So they have, it's, it's open to, enter, to, to explain to people what you can do, what you cannot do. Can I reply to that? Yes. Okay. So he said that the Quran is applicable to all times and all places. Yeah, but you need some knowledge. How? Everybody. how no, you, you, could you want to listen? You, you asked me to listen. Yeah, so listen, everybody. listen. How does the Quran describe that you should end your fast? Does anyone know the verse? Yes, we know the verse. What is the verse? According to the Quran, about how you know to end your fast or to start your fast. When you see the, 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 the white line with the, with the black line, the sun, so you can start fast. Right. How do you do that in Iceland and Greenland where the sun only rises two times a year? With the time. With the time, he yeah, says. Yeah. Is that what the Quran said? Yeah. No. Yeah. What he said was that the Quran said. Fatwa. That's the Quran. Yeah. Fatwa. What's yeah. the fatwa? fatwa? The fatwa is an opinion. No. The fatwa is an opinion. It's not an opinion. But Allah says you know how to start and end your fast. By the do? rising they do? They and the setting they of the sun. What, they fast 24 hours? But in Greenland, yeah. the sun only rises two times a year. That's an opinion. Yeah. But yeah. the Quran says, when a matter has been decided by Allah alone. Oh wait, no, it doesn't say that. When the Quran says that a matter has been decided by Allah telling Muhammad. Oh wait, it doesn't say that. 
When the Quran says that a matter has been decided by Allah and the Messenger, it is not fitting for the Muslim to have an opinion. But the Quran says fasting is decided by the rising and the setting of the sun. But Muslims give an opinion that if you're a Muslim in Greenland and you can't see this rising and the setting of the sun, that you do it by the time of Saudi Arabia. Yes, 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 yes. So they're contradicting their own book. End of story. End of game. End of debate. Go on, reply to that. Reply to my argument. This is no argument. There is no argument. You decide if I've just made an argument. Ladies and gentlemen, did I just make an argument? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You're making movies. Now you say I'm making movies. So yeah, tell me why my actor. Tell me why it's not you. an argument. Get a Hollywood making an actor. You are an actor. You are an actor. Ad hominem. Ad hominem. Ad hominem. Notice he's not arguing with the argument. And the reason why he's not arguing with the argument why? is because Islam is intellectually busted. <laughs> if your book literally tells you if God gives you a decision you can't have an opinion on it and then God gives you the decision about how you know when to start and end your fast and then we find an example where God's message doesn't apply and you give your opinion then you've contradicted your own book and furthermore You've demonstrated, you've demonstrated that your book does not apply at all times to all people in all places. Put the light on it, put the light on it. Because you're sick, that's why. At hominem. You are sick. At hominem. You are sick. Now deal with the you argument. Are, are sick. It, the it's argument has silenced him. Tell me why it's not an it's argument. argument. Tell me why it's not an argument. Because, because our book is open. I mean, if you cannot, we have knowledge, we cannot reach, you have to follow the aima. So the ulama, they tell you that you can do this, you cannot. It's open. And who? It's not, it's not shot. It's not shot or it's not shot. Where does the Quran tell you who is the ulama? Who the Quran tell me the ulama? Yeah. The ulama, we know them, we know them. Now listen no to the circular argument The one who's knowledgeable, the one who's knowledgeable, who, who memorized the Quran, who the Quran. Do the Shia agree with the Sunni who the ulama is? Don't jump, you're jumping now. Do the you're Shia jump. agree yeah, with the no, Sunni who the ulama is? Another, this is another matter. Do they? This is another no, they don't. This is another matter. So listen to this argument. His argument is, okay, okay. we follow the ulama in what they say about the Quran says. But the Quran never tells you who the alarma is. So in other words, you're deciding who the alarma is, and every Muslim makes up different collections of alarma. Do the Salafi agree with the do the, the, the Salafi agree with the Shia about who the Ulama is? We, do, we agree with stuff, we disagree with stuff. What is the problem? It's not a problem. No, I said about who the Ulama is. What do, you mean the alarm is? what do I mean? Yes. You can't even answer the question. Show me in the Quran who were the criteria that the Quran gives for identifying the Ulama. Yes. Uh, we just choose them. Scholars. No, choose them. But who's scholars? The Shia scholars or the Sunni scholars? Shia and Sunni, this is another story. The Mutasilite scholars mix, or the Salafi don't scholars? Mix, don't mix things together like this. Is you, want, you want to answer? I'm not stupid. What about the Mutasilites? Talk to me straight. What about the Mutasilites? They were Sunnis. Should we follow the scholars of the Mutasilite? We have a book. We have the Sunnah. We have ulama. We follow all this. Should we, we follow the mistake? scholars? Even if you made a mistake, even Alam, even, even we the follow scholar, even the, scholar, the scholars of even the Salafi. Scholar, even the scholar made a mistake, it's possible. It's possible. Should we follow even, the scholars you, of the Salafi? Even the scholar make a mistake, it's possible. Answer my question. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm Answer my question. Your, I'm finishing your question. 
even a scholar yeah. made a mistake yeah. is possible. That's not my question. I'm telling you. That wasn't you my question. Telling me, you go this, who's the scholar? Even, that wasn't my question. The scholar. That wasn't my if question. The scholar, if the scholar made a mistake, uh, that wasn't my question. Get a reward. That was not if my the question. If the scholar gets it right, that was not right. my question. So, Finish. My question actually was, bye. bye! So what you've got, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. is that Muslims say we have to follow the scholars in what the scholars tell us the Quran says. Yeah. But the Quran gives you no categories by which you can identify the scholars. And what you actually find when you look into Islam is that every group of Muslims have their own scholars and they all disagree and they're all different why is that because the perfect quran didn't tell you how to identify the scholars each group of muslims just identify their own group of scholars and then their own group of scholars say the quran means this but a different group of muslim scholars will say the Quran means that. So, for example, amongst Muslims, there is a debate amongst the scholars. Some Muslims believe that Allah really does have a hand and a shin and a face and eyes. Other Muslims following other scholars believe that when the Quran says that Allah has a hand, it's not literal. It isn't a reality. So in other words, the idea that we just follow what the scholars say the Quran is, is actually utterly useless. Because who your scholars are depend on who you like and who you dislike. Who you find convincing and who you don't. The Quran gives you no criteria to choose your scholars and your scholars are telling you lots of different things on every single aspect of Sharia law. One second. By contrast, a Christian can be a disciple of Jesus in every circumstance, in every condition, in every time and in every place. Why? Why? Because Christianity doesn't work as a religion of rules decided as don't do and do. Christianity works as a system of ethics. It gives you a description of the character that you should become. And if you become the right character, you'll live out the right life in every circumstance. And that's the difference between Christianity and Islam. Christianity and Islam has another difference. It's called the freedom of the gospel. There is no one right way of doing good. There are lots of ways of doing good. And so, Christians can fast in lots of different ways. But Muslims have a particular way of fasting, given by their Quran, that they can't always follow. But a Christian, because it's a virtue ethic system, can fast in every condition and circumstance because they make a personal commitment about how they fast, what they offer to God in sacrifice. Christians are fasting right now in Lent. And every Christian can participate because there is a freedom to do good. There is no doubt that there are some ways of doing good that are better than others. And we acknowledge that as Christians, which is why as Christians we are called to compete with one another in doing good. And by competing in doing good, we identify the best way to do good. Any questions? He's got no question. He's got no question.
Okay. So, we might as well stop. Okay, yeah, let's stop. You stop. Why are you stop? Why are we going to stop? Cuz you can't have a conversation. Allah, bro. Allah, Allah, Allah. You can't have a conversation. No, you can't have a conversation. That's the reason why. I, I have tried tried couple of times. What? Why? Why? What? Firstly, I'm flattered that you think I've got an audience of millions, because I haven't. But why do the Dawa team lie about the Christian faith? About such as saying that we believe in three gods. Because you do believe in three gods. Oh, prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. No, I believe in one God. Do not, yeah. Hey, Prove that I believe in three gods. One second, one second, yeah? Prove that I hey, believe in three gods. Come to our tune, yeah? Also, uh, also, come, come, come to Allah. No, no, no. Why? Why not? No, bro. She'll tell you Trinity. Why are you not come to What does Trinity mean? She'll tell you the Trinity down there. What does Trinity three mean? Three gods. You don't even know what the word means. You don't even know what the word means. Do you not believe in the Holy Spirit? <laughs> Trinity means hey. triunity. Hey. Holy Spirit. What's he describing? I go on. Holy Spirit. What's Trinity describing? Like that. Why do you have to lie about Christianity? I've been rude. That's what why it's why it's are you lying about Christianity? Allah, are you a Christian? You in Christian? Do you believe in three gods? No. Look far. Look far. Look, are you a Christian? Do you believe in three gods? No. Do you, are you a Christian? Do you believe in three gods? Nope. Yeah. So here you go, you're lying about Christians. Who's a Christian here? Yep. Bro, are you listening? Are you a Christian brother? Do you believe in three gods? So you're lying about Christians. You're lying about Christianity. What the brother doesn't understand is that I've got the microphone. So he's literally talking to himself right now whilst I talk to the microphone. He's talking to the microphone and I've got the microphone. So what you saw there, ladies and gentlemen, is that he lied about Christians on camera. I got you there. I got you there. I got you there. Right, let's stop.